Toxic Minerals Part 3. Hello brave rock lickers, it's Jolian Ralph, founder of Mindat.org. I'm back to continue the story of Toxic Minerals with one that strikes fear into many collectors, Villiarmite. Now you may not have heard of this mineral, but it is on a lot of these dubious lists of dangerous minerals online. Is it justified? Let's learn a little about this mineral. It's sodium fluoride. It forms in some nepheline cyanite intrusives or pegmatites, such as in Greenland or the Kola Peninsula in Russia. It can form very nice reddish, orange, pinkish cubes or masses, and it is soluble in water. The red coloration is caused by radioactive decay from the surrounding rocks. Now let's talk about sodium fluoride. Sodium fluoride is certainly listed as a poison. It was used as an insecticide until it was banned. In 1942, 47 inmates at Oregon State Hospital died after eating scrambled eggs contaminated with sodium fluoride. So you might be somewhat concerned to learn that one of the major uses of sodium fluoride is as one of the ingredients in toothpaste. Remember that the difference between something that's good for you and something that isn't is often down to the dosage. There isn't much sodium fluoride in toothpaste, but it does an important job. It provides fluoride ions, which helps convert the hydroxyl appetite in your teeth to fluor appetite. Let's get back to toxicity. The lethal dose for humans, for a, let's say a 70 kilogram human, is about five to 10 grams of sodium fluoride. That's actually quite a lot, which leads me to my story. At the Tucson show a few years ago, Russian mineral dealer Dmitry Belikovsky was selling some very nice specimens of villiarmite from the Kola Peninsula in Russia. A lady had bought a piece the day before and came back to him asking for a refund after she'd heard that it was rat poison. Dmitry calmly picked up another piece of it from his shelf, licked it and told her, Come back tomorrow. If I'm dead, you can have a refund. You see, even though villiarmite is soluble in water, it's still far less soluble than, for example, halite or rock salt. So simply licking a piece once wouldn't be enough to have a dangerous dosage. However, I do not advise you to lick your villiarmites. So the lady, she decided after this demonstration to keep the specimen. I hope you've enjoyed this and remember to follow me. You might learn something.